NIL, name and image likeness. This is a new opportunity for college athletes to cash in on their personal brand. In this video, we'll be bringing an athlete's brand to life across an apparel collection, giving you ideas on how to create effective decoration for athletes. Keep watching. I'm Josh Ellsworth with Stalls, and at Stalls we specialize in a technology called heat printing. Being able to create high quality heat transfers that can be decorated onto a wide variety of apparel items. We do that in the form of providing heat presses, training, and transfers to apparel decorators potentially like you, or through licensed fulfillment programs at our Stalls DFC, our Decorating Fulfillment Center. In either case, NIL or name and image likeness has been a hot topic across the board. Many companies want to cash in on this and find opportunities to work with athletes in their local community or perhaps beyond. But the question is, what can we create and where do we start? One of the first examples we'll look at is a direct-to-film transfer. The product name is Ultra Color Max. Now we've paired this product on this dry fit Nike tee, which is a really high end item. And, and that's the first tip is the blank apparel selection is critical to the overall quality of the brand that you're creating. And by selecting this ultra color max transfer, we get something that's not only soft, but also has stretch and flexibility and heat presses at a super low temperature to allow us to print on demand without scorching high end performance gear like this Nike dry fit tee. So, Easy application. Uh, the player's name that we've brought to life here is Notorious Grooms, and so we just played into the Notorious word mark for the front design. Now, expanding on that, this really shows off uh, the detail that you can achieve in that same Ultra Color Max transfer. We're seeing we're using the same Notorious word mark, but we're also adding a little bit of a graphic design in the background. The handle, whether that's on Instagram or another social media platform so they can grow their following, and also a little bit of a definition with some small text to add style. And so I love that look, and we're going on to this uh, gilt and blank that looks to be uh, acid washed or tie-dye, and so you can get a lot of cool styles of, of t-shirts as well, even if it's just 100% cotton. Next, we're going to move into Pants, in this case, uh, a pair of joggers, and I'll pull this up into frame, is athlete signature. And so, again, I love the signature element where you can bring the athlete's actual signature to life on the product. We've not only used the athlete's signature in the same Ultra Color Max transfer, which is capable of the fine detail, but also put it uh, close to a seam on this lower leg of this sweatpant, which adds a really unique branding style to the piece, makes it look very high end. In addition to athlete signature and athlete name, of course, we have the image of the athlete itself. It's right in the name, name and image likeness, right? So why not use the image itself? In this case, a photo real print in the same Ultra Color Max product that allows us to do unlimited colors, including photo quality, a really clean, nice look, uh, set up a photo shoot with an athlete, work with the photographer, bring in some of that photorealistic imagery. It's going to pop like nothing else and nothing says uh, supporting the athlete from a fan's perspective like wearing their actual photo and image onto a shirt combined with a word mark or some text uh, to make it a more cohesive design. Here we've put it onto a basic uh, Port & Company uh, hooded sweatshirt. Stepping that up just a bit is we've taken the same uh, athlete image, um, slightly different photo, and we've created a silhouette, right? A tonal design onto this really high-end shirt. And so we see the athlete holding the football, we see an outline of the sneakers and the entire design, and we've also combined the player's signature as a part of that. So you can see we're combining the best of these elements to create a really nice cohesive look. Uh, this one is, is pretty awesome, and it's all about doing the same word mark, doing the player signature in a uh, alternating color. We're going through the same uh, white, black, and red color scheme throughout the whole collection. And we've applied this onto a really nice uh, performance long sleeve hoodie 
that's a zip up. And so with heat printing as a technology, we can do a lot of application areas. This is a Badger sport garment, but it's really about crossing over this zipper. And now we are moving into the whole outfit, the whole collection for the athlete, rather than just a t-shirt and a hoodie. And then speaking of moving into additional items, here we have uh, the back of a jacket. And so including mottos or mantras or sayings, in this case, this athlete's saying is push your limit. And so we brought that saying to life on the back of this independent trading company uh, jacket with the same direct to film transfer. So one transfer type, right? Literally one transfer type across all of this product mix uh, makes it super easy. But let's expand to some different items and different transfers. And for that, we're going to go a little bit deeper into the number. In this particular case, we are using a dimensional emblem. And so we're taking the athlete's number, number 28, we're bringing it to life in what's called flex style. And flex style is also called by some of our uh, customers liquid embroidery. So it's dimensional, it has a lot of style to it, and something as simple as the player's number on the front of a hat, when it paired with a t-shirt, it ties off you know, the outfit that's being worn. Not only are we doing the player number on the hat, but also the player saying. In this case, we're using that push your limit design that we saw on a jacket. We've paired it with a hat with a 3D embroidered patch. This is just heat applied. So tons of opportunities for printing on demand. You don't have to run big inventory on these athlete quantities because we don't know if they'll sell. And when they sell, we don't have to print them until they sell, so print to order. And here we've actually printed the side of it as well with that same flex style liquid embroidery transfer we've brought that same signature to life. So you can see when we're working with this, we need to have a little bit of thicker lines, but it does player signature really well. We chose to use a flat red finish, but you can also do these signatures and metallic. Moving on, initials are another great opportunity. And so in this case, we kept the design pretty basic in our black and white style with an outline. Uh, we utilized the player's initial and created more of a graphic from those initials, Notorious Grooms, and applied those to this cap with 3D embroidery. And then we've also hit a back print location with some detail right above that closure with the player signature as well. And then last but not least, just to have a little bit of fun, we did the athlete's number uh, on a pair of socks. And so this was to illustrate that, yes, this is an embroidered patch, it's just heat pressed on, but there really isn't any product that can be worn that you cannot bring an athlete's name and image likeness to life. So as you can see, there are a ton of opportunities to bring a personal brand to life with heat transfers. So many different looks you can create, so many products that you can make, and so many elements that can be incorporated that really present something compelling and cohesive that people are going to want to buy. And that's the main thing. So what do you do next? I would recommend that you like this video, you subscribe to the channel, and you ask your questions. If you have comments or questions about getting into this market of name and image likeness, we are here to help and direct you to the resources. Thanks for watching.